What's going on guys, it is your boy Angry SA Gamer and today I'm on my buddy T Dizzle's account, his link will be in the description to his YouTube channel so feel free to go and subscribe to him and also subscribe to my channel while you're at it. I just want to show you what it takes to get to 1 million might because with every single hero in this altar, if you took one out, the 1 million will go away. So. To start off, we have 26 Breakthrough 30 Legends up until, uh, who's this again? Gunslinger, the new skin totally throws me off. And we have 26 Breakthrough 20 Legends up until Zvalin. So I'm going to go through, show you the setups, what they have. So for Pixie, we have 9 of 9 Sacred Light with 8 of 8 empowered so i don't think it matters i'm just gonna go through like that and show you the equipment because overall anything that is done here is to get to one million might so if you take one thing away it's going to change i guess this is his 13 or 13 siren which is used for um arch demon and arch demon only and this is the setup you would want fire mage and for traits it doesn't really matter but he do, did go with crit damage which is which is good um a beast tamer 13 of 13 9 of 9 um sunder brawler's favor fire mage and then traits crit damage as well this is actually nice trixie treat also the arch demon team part of the arch demon team and oh, <laughs> Arch Demon Teeman, okay, whatever. Good damage. Um, so, there's a theme going here that everything is going to be basically 13 or 13. I'm going to show the important heroes though. So, for Lazu, we have 9 of 9 revive, 8. So, this would become a Insignia 9 soon. But he does at least finish spending on his account. So, um, and full HP traits that is actually very nice this is what a 1 million account looks like boys uh minotaur at 13 of 13 9 of 9 8 uh, victory lunge and then attack we do not have, have full attack but it's very expensive so if i would lock this down anybody that does not know about traits it's 1950 gems just to roll one and then they have the audacity to charge you 1800 gems but you also pay 300 merits to get a chance of a 1 to 5, which is insane IGG, by the way. Pumpkin Duke, it's also used for Archdemon. And if you do use a Pumpkin Duke for Archdemon, you have to have Regenerate 9 and Sunder 8. Otherwise, your Pumpkin Duke is worthless. Uh, and therefore, trade we have HP. Um, the next most important legends over here would be Skeletica, somewhat. He's not being used a lot of the times anymore, but um, this is the build that we have HP and Then Walla Walla is still one of the best defensive legends that we have and this is his build 13 of 13 9 of 9 sacred light with 9 survival Equipment holy conviction because he does heal for a ton and then he's got HP You can actually change that to attack because with the rate uh, at the rate that Walla Walla heals himself if you have empowered on um, you would not take him down fairly soon. Um, Trentor is being used for Guild Wars. So we have him at Breakthrough 30. 13 of 13, 9 of 9 revive. We have 5 because we don't need anything. I just need him to get a 1 proc off. And then that. But um, that really doesn't matter because as soon as you put him down, he's going to get a proc of ears or a proc. And then this very sexy dove keeper we have th breakthrough 30 13 or 13 with nine vigorous fury we also have unholy pact as a second talent nine of nine survival which is pretty nice we have holy conviction and for trades we have hp and accuracy i would go full accuracy on dove if i was uh, if, if this was my account but um the extra hp does help out but she doesn't really need it because she's damage cap at 18,000 per hit. <coughs> Excuse me. Serena is not used ever, but that is Serena. I'm not going to go in. There's a theme here about Holy Conviction. Levanica is one of the best legends in the game still. There's no other legend like him. And he's absolutely awesome. He's got 9 of 9 
um, sacred light t diesel and myself we've got the exact same um setup except for the equipment i've got victory lunge and i also run fire mage on mine and then i've got one five star attack instead of full dodge mahatma i'm gonna skip over her but i'll show her real quick like that that is all i'm gonna show i'm real fury on her because she hits like so super fast and that enchantment just helps that out boogeyman defensive legend so you want unholy pact on boogeyman because he does he's okay this is why you would want it um especially reduces this hero's damage taken by 65 for so it's like a mini um what do you call it uh damage cap it's got a built-in mini damage cap in his skill um cannot receive more than 5000 reflective damage per hit so that's why and he's got a good amount of hit 10800 so that's why you would want to go with um unholy pact and nine of nine empowered is that nine of nine empowered yeah that is nine of nine empowered as an insignia then we have victory lunch because he does hit like a tank you've got accuracy and attack that is perfect as it is um we now have rosaline is not that important but she is a good legend but that is her build at the moment um we have cosmo which is still one of the best legends as a defensive um but he's very squishy but nine of nine sacred light sunder because we use him for arch demon but he's not in arch demon he's in guild wars at the moment so we leave him like that we've got empowered as a defensive legend you want empowered on your um, um cosmo otherwise it's worthless equipment fire mage because like i said he is being used for um arch demon so we're not going to play around with that he also got hp traits next anubis also still one of an all-time favorite free to play legend but um you can set him up however you want tenacity is what um t dizzle went with i guess he went with the nasty because he is squishing he's, he's got three lives but he's very squishy he's only got two hundred twenty six thousand base hp what how did that disconnect okay um i'm back on uh, there was a massive internet issue um okay so we we're busy with anubis um gonna go on to there's a couple of legends that i skipped but i will get to that in a second i just want to finish this um uh, we on to Ripper. So basically, most of these legends would be 13 or 13, right? Uh, Ripper, we have at this at the moment. Holy Conviction. And mostly Dodge. Um, so I actually was on the roll. Explaining and talking and so on and so forth. We got Michael too. Uh, Zephyrica, obviously the Nunu. Uh, we have him with different setups tried and stuff like that and then um i think full dodge is his best uh, victory lunge to get him a bit of give him a bit of extra dps um i would go with and then gunslinger with a new skin sunder she's also one of the arch demon um she's part of the arch demon team um so this is her setup and then also crit damage i think yes so that that is it for the breakthrough 30 legends so all the other legends that you see um this would also still go to breakthrough 30 but i think t dizzle is a bit overspending now not overspending he's 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 not gonna spend anymore for a while um as he said he did spend a couple of hundred dollars more than a couple but um so like most of the other legends like lil nick basically uh, it's 13 of 13 breakthrough 30 with nine of nine a bulwark eight unholy pact victory lunge and traits we have accuracy attack and crit so why why is lil nick breakthrough 30 um same with uh let's serena and mahatma um rosaline ashura michael these legends why are they because it is part of his lost battlefield team so Lost Battlefield is also a major part in T-Dizzle's daily activities on Castle Clash to get to the top. And um, I can tell you, 
If you challenge a 13 or 13 anything breakthrough 30, you're gonna have a tough time, right? So if I just scroll like this, I can show you. Basically, all these breakthrough 30 legends are 13 or 13. And then we're gonna head into the 20s. Breakthrough 20 legends, 12 or 12, 13 or 13 here and there. Still a couple of 12s, but he's working on it. And this is what you have to do to get to 1 million might. And I think it is a great achievement. It's also a very expensive achievement, but a great one. Um, being 1 million might is a massive achievement. And T Dizzle, I take my hat off to you. And I congratulate you, sir, for doing a mighty fine job at that. Let me just show you the greens and blues we have on T Dizzle's account. Um, also pretty insane. So this is the greens and blues. They all, every single euro in this altar would be inscribed to 100. You would not get anything less. Nine of nine and 12 of 12 for everything. Just look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Level 200. I hope IGG brings out a uh, evolve state for the blues and greens as we would have so much fun with that. Um, Oh, we have one. We have one T Dizzle. What are you doing? Um, so that is it for a one million might account, boys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go subscribe to my friend T Dizzle with his one million might account, which he does videos on Castle Clash, and he also does T Dizzle Rizzle, T Dizzle's riddles, which is also fun to do. It's nothing to do with Castle Clash. It's completely different, but it's just fun. Um, I think the way it works is on a merit system. So each week uh, you take part in the riddles and every time you get a right answer, um, you get a point or a couple of points and the one with the most points or first one to 20 points at the end of the week gets $20 from T-Dizzle, which is also a lot of fun. So if you boys would please subscribe to his channel, help him out, watch his videos, and um, that is it. This is what a 1 million might account looks like, boys, if you ever wanted and what it takes. Trentar also at Breakthrough 30, 13 or 13. Insane. And if anybody of you are wondering how much gems has been purchased on this account, up until a certain amount of gems purchased, you can't see the amount purchased. So we don't know. And I don't think T Dizzle knows, but it is. A lot that is a fact so yeah that is it boys i hope you enjoyed see you guys in the next video goodbye